What up? What up? What up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on this shit. Cuz <laughs> um, dropped shit last night, man. And I knew he dropped shit last night, bro. But, you know, Cuz was a little busy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we, jumping, we tapping in this motherfucker now. You already know, bro. Cuz phone been going off, off. Off, off. J. Cole just cooked your boy. He cooked him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, before oh, before we tap in, let me address two things. Um, y'all know because if y'all tap into me like that, no diddy. Um, I posted on my community tab, uh, yeah, my community tab that I was gonna do a, a live review of J. Cole album today, but you can't do it today because I gotta give my attention to this. So um hopefully I'll do the live reaction tomorrow to the rest of the album, right? So that's one thing. And then of course, you know what I'm saying, pull up the shop stevenight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some sh that you rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something you like. I got you. But yeah, bro, I, my phone probably still going off, dog. He, Cole cooked him. He cooked him. You know what I'm saying? It's one zero. J Cole got him. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, but yeah, this is dope, dog. Regardless, ain't no regardless. We in it. We in the thick of it, bro. We in the thick of it, dog. You know what I'm saying? So uh. Let's get it, bro. It's just, it's just dope, bro. It's dope. We got J. Cole responding finally. I mean, hopefully we'll have Drake respond. You know what I'm talking about? And we'll have us a real hip-hop war out this thing. J. Cole, seven-minute drill. Is this bitch seven minutes long? Is it? No, three and a half minutes long. Yeah. Turn it up. I like yeah, the beat. To uh, light work, like it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep the heat under your seat. I got Hold on. Do they have the lyrics out for this shit yet? Light work, like it's a PWC. Hold on, I'm on the wrong. I'm on my night talk channel right now. I don't want to mess up my algorithm. This shit blowing up. It's trending. Second, uh, second, second on uh, YouTube music right now, but. I want to see if they got the lyrics, cause what the hell is PWC? Did I hear that right? That be hard though. Yeah. yeah. Turn it up. Yeah. Turn the vocal up. Uh. Light work, like it's PWC, it's a cold world, keep the heat under your seat, I got a phone call, they say that somebody dissing, you want some attention, it come with extensions, my dog like say the word, he on bullshit, he itching, I'm putting so much work in these streets, he got pension, I told him chill out, how I look having henchmen, if shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching, I came up Clean, clean, um... What does light work like it's a PWC mean, though? I don't know what PWC. I'm thinking it's like a predominantly white college light work. <laughs> That's what I'm, the only thing I'm thinking of. But, like, I know it's light work. Like, this is light work for me right now. The the damage I'm about to instill on your boy, and it's light work for me. But I don't know what that PWC mean. It's a cold world. Keep the heat under the seat. It's a play on. It's a cold world. Hip-hop hip -hop game is a cold world. Got to keep the heat under the seat. But... With the gunplay, I'm I'm all, I'm already going to assume that's just a metaphor for uh, hip hop. Like it's not really gunplay. Like he's keeping it. He, I mean, it, it is, but you know, cause Cole, he not he not about that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really want to give attention to the gun bars. But that's not type of type of rapper Cole is. And I'm and I'm giving him that benefit because it's corny to me when rappers talk about gunplay when they when they're not really about gunplay. You know what I'm saying? But I want to give Cole the benefit of the doubt and just assume that's just a metaphor for him ready to shoot in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? So it's a cold world. Literally, it's a cold world. World's fucked up, but it's a cold world. Play on Jermaine Cole's last name. Got to keep the heat under the seat, which is a gunplay reference. You're keeping guns under the seat because it's a cold world. You always got to have your eye on the swivel, but you got to have your eye on the swivel in this hip-hop game. Right, so I'm ready to fire off at any given moment. Hence, seven minute drill. Uh, I got a phone call. They say that somebody dissing K Dot. Right, 
Um, you want some attention that come with extensions. It's another gun part. Gun part. Like I don't like I don't like hearing gun parts from Cole. Uh, but extensions means you talk shit to me, I'm gonna fire back. Uh, light work, like it's PWC, it's a cold world, keep the heat under your seat, I got a phone call, they say that somebody dissing, you want some attention, it come with extensions, my dog like say the word, he on bullshit, he itching, I'm putting so much work in these streets, he got pension, I told him chill out. That's hard though, that's hard bro, it's on some bully shit though, like, um, you know, my homie say they'll handle my light work for me, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my dog is like, I handle this shit for you. He on that bullshit. That's how homies is, bro. Like, I wonder if that really happened, though, if Cole was just pulling that shit out of his ass, dog. Because it's, it's hip-hop. It's rap beef. I wonder if Cole really had homies hitting him up like, bro, hey, hey, just say the word, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm itching to get active, dog. If you really, really about that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a bar saying my homie done put in so much work in the streets, he got a pension. That's, that's, that's a bar. You know what I'm saying? He active in these streets. But when you work for a company for an extended period of time, They'll give you a pension. You know what I mean? That's how much work my homie been putting in the streets. Yeah, but like, I'm wondering if, if he really had homies calling him to try to get active with some K-Dot on some rap beef. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. Kissing, you want some attention, it come with extensions. My dog like say the word, he on bullshit, he itching. I'm putting so much work in these streets, he got pension. I told him chill out, how I look having henchmen. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the clinching. I came up in a video. You know what I'm saying? So like... I don't like hearing it from Cole, bro. Gunplay. All right? I don't. I just, I just said it. I just I just prefaced it. Like, bro, I'm just going to assume he's talking about rapping, bro. But the fact that you got homies saying, bro, say the word. I'll go, I'll go handle it for you. Cole was like, nah, bro. I got it, dog. What the fuck I look like having henchmen? I'm, I'm going to take care of myself. If shots get to popping, I'm the one to clinch it. If, if dudes get to rapping, I'm the one that's going to rap for myself, dog. But how, how else would... A homie come in and help Cole with this outside of fisticuffs, bro. Because the only rappers we're worried about is Cole, Kendrick, and Drake at this given moment. <laughs> right? Cole would never have a fucking rapper come in here and rap for him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't like hearing the gun bars, dog. Okay, Cole better than this. Right? Rap, rap, dog. Rap, rap, dog. And I'm putting so much work in these streets. He got pension. I told him, chill out. How I look having henchmen. If shots get to popping, I'm the one. It's hard, but it ain't trying to get cold. I came up in a veil, so I'm good when it's tension. Okay. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line. Yeah, yeah, I know. The, the street's going to be talking because of that. <laughs> the streets are gonna be talking cause of that, bruh. And I know the, the 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 cold camp is eating that shit all up, bruh. Because a lot of the cold camp don't fuck with the K dot camp, and they got the same criticisms that the majority of the cold camp do, right? Your first was classic, your last was tragic. It's a running narrative from a lot of folks that Mr. Morale was trash. I'm not one of those. I I happen to think that Mr. Morale is probably going to be the album that ages the best out of all of K Dot's work. To pimp a butterfly too. To pimp a butterfly is like life changing, bro. But then it's like there's there's people in hip hop that's not trying to hear that, so they're going to say yo yo second put is the sleep, right? And yeah, I understand that criticism is out there, but but. I wouldn't expect to hear that from Cole, right? Because a lot of this that K Dot stands for raps about is a lot of the things that Cole raps about and relates with as well. And and out of anybody out here, I would I would have assumed that Cole would put a album like "To Pimp a Butterfly," right? So that's shocking to me. That's surprising to me, bro, because. A lot of the lot of lot of, lot of the content in that damn record is the same shit you stand for, bro. So, like, do you really believe what you just said, or are you just saying that because that's the narrative out, and you know people gonna swarm to that shit like flies on shit? You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's fair, bro, because a lot of people feel that way, dog. Still doing shows. I just don't think Cole feel that way. But fell off like the Simpsons. Your first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How I run it, so I got it. Now he wants something with me. Ooh, what he yeah, that was tough. That was tough. 
That was tough, bro. So that's the toughest shit he said thus far. And I'm thinking about this from a typical hip hop or just a typical fan's perspective. When they hear that, when they hear that, uh, your third was massive and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind your prime and now I just hit mine and now all of a sudden you want to come at me. It's ironic you want to come at me now, right? Especially considering the fact that you hardly ever drop shit. But now you see that Cold World been, or J. Cole been kicking ass. You got to drop some, drop some shit down to take my shine, right? That's going to that's gonna hit for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? But, see, this is why I just did. I, I This makes me think of that video I saw when Cuz was putting all these subliminals together and, and highlighting the connections, right? This is all direct shots at, at Kendrick. But, but there's, like... Uh, the joint that Cole dropped with Butch, right? A lot of there's a lot of uh, folks running with the 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 belief that a lot of that shit that Cole said was directed at Kendrick. And if I'm probably gonna go to hell if Jesus asked for a feature. In the first line, Cole makes it clear that he's bodying anyone on a feature and even claims that Jesus himself would take a loss. One person that's imitated Jesus in the past would be none other than Kendrick Lamar. Some see the glass is empty, I see a glass full of ether collecting his bread and mass like he a Catholic preacher. This line appears to be a reference to Kendrick's music video for Humble, where Kendrick is dressed up as a Catholic preacher, and you can see the empty glass and bread sitting on the table. Ooh. Cole makes it clear that he sees a glass full of Ooh. ether. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And there's been other songs like that too, where it, it seems like Cole is, is gunning at Kendrick. So if that's the case, then this shit would make any sense. You feel me? So it's either it's either one or two things happening, right? It's either all these records that Cole has done in the past where people are trying to say that he's been firing shots at K-Dot, either that's Cat and where people are just reaching with it, or Cole is capping right here because it would make sense for K-Dot to respond to you given the fact that he's believing and other people are believing that you've been firing shots at K-Dot. This makes me think that Cole was never talking shit about Kendrick at all in those records. And he was just, you know, talking the shit on rap. But, you know, people tend to, including me, want to make everything competitive in hip hop, regardless of what's going on, bro. And Cole's even said it in the past, bro, when he when he did the record with uh, Lil Boat. And there was people trying to stir up beef between him and NBA. He's like, bro, I, ain't, I don't got beef with the kid. If, I, if I'm going to fire a shot at you, you're going to know I'm going to fire a shot at you. I still want to give me a song where I beat. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm so, this, so this whole subliminal narrative wouldn't make any sense. And it definitely wouldn't make any sense now when J. Cole was saying that he feels like Kendrick is only attacking him now because he's been killing the game. Right. So with that being said, all these other records that people are saying Cole has been sh firing shots at Kendrick going crazy. That is not the case. They were not subliminals. They were not doubles. They were not metaphors. They were face value bars with Cole just talking his shit, saying I'm the best. Ain't nobody fucking with me. It wasn't nothing directed at KDOT. This is directed at KDOT, and Cole feels the type of way that KDOT is coming after, coming after him because he's crushing it. He's killing it. And that's the case. That's a bar. Makes sense. I get him that. That, shit, that, was, that. that was tough. That was tough. Let's do it. That was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How and then, and then, that's a shot at Drake right there, too. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because Drake been awfully sensitive lately about all these motherfuckers playing with his name and shit, right? And this ain't no this ain't no two-person shooter, bro. This is Cole standing on his, dog, right? So I'm in front of the line. I'm better than Drake, and I'm better than k -Dot. I mean, he did say that on that record, bro. Like, I'm Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali is the GOAT, considering what 
J. Cole was talking about in Two Person Shooter. So that ain't, that ain't the first time. With that being said, will Drake feel the type of way about Cole saying that? All right, but I like it. I like it. I like it, bro. I like it. I run it soon as I got it. Now he wants something with me. Well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump up and see why I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. Funny thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the prestige. Yeah. Well, he, well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump and see. Boy, I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. I like it, but that's cat. Right? Cole or Kendrick is not. One of the faces of hip hop off of controversy. <laughs> Kendrick is one of the faces of hip hop off of artistry, right? Not no controversy. It's just a. This is one of the elements that K Dot has, or one of the one of the tangibles that K Dot has in hip hop as well. Like he can do the rap beef shit too, right? And him and him doing that, him K Dot dropping his dick on the game the way he did, and 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 like that is giving us all this gold right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, normally I don't do this, bro, but hey, people been talking crazy for getting that I am who I am, dog. And you see what what I gotta do to get this shit started, bro. You know what I'm saying? K dot K dot threw that motherfucking jab out here and then ba ba ba. We got coal and some rap beef, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not what K dot do. He he dropped one control verse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But nah, see, see that's me reaching, bro. That's me reaching. No. Did, hold on, let me see, let me see how you said it. Got it now he won't something with me. Well he caught me at the perfect time. Jump up and see why I got here off of bars, not no controversy. Funny thing I thought he, I thought he may have played. See, I see, 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 man, see, I'm a Cause Cole don't do that, bro. I was sitting here thinking that he split controversy into control verse, right? Thinking that he could have made this a double saying that K Dot is only the talk of the town because of controversy, which is kept, but it's he could have also been trying to say that K Dot is here because of that control verse. See, but he didn't he didn't make it sound like that. And at the same time, I'm thinking that and Cole don't rap like that. But I thought he did rap like that because of all the subliminals that I came wind of a week or two ago. So I feel like that shit had just been taken away from me, bro, because that shit had changed my whole perspective of how Cole get down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cole don't get down, like, with the fucking hidden shit like that, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I wish them shits were subliminals, because that shit would have, that shit, that shit pumped Cole up on the, on the list for me, bro. But he don't, he don't do that, dog. He don't do that, bro. He do this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, and then all this is cap. Like I said again, K Dot is not here on no con on no controversy, bro. Kendrick is not here because of no controversy. Kendrick is here because <laughs> Kendrick is Kendrick. It's Kung Fu Kenny, bitch. But I, I'm fucking with it all the same. Let's get it. The bully, how I run it, so I got it. Now he wants something with me. Well, he caught me at the perfect time. Jump up and see why I got here off of bars. Not no controversy. Funny thing about it, bitch, I don't even want the prestige. Fuck the Grammys, cause them crackers ain't never done nothing for me. Okay. Oh, Slugs took my nigga soul. Drugs took another one. A rap beef ain't realer than the shit I seen in Cumberland. He averaging one hard verse like every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him. Huh? Lord, don't make me. Yeah. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. That was hard. Yep, that is that is true. That is definitely true, bro. You know what I'm saying like that was that was a bar. It's the truest thing he said, bro. There's nothing I can do to try to dot them debate that. We would not be having this discussion at this present time about K dot if K dot didn't if K dot didn't enter the chat right now with that like that record. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, with that being said. Like K Dot is still considered one of the one of, if not the best, right now. Even with even without him dropping that fucking verse. And like I say, him dropping that verse is fuck. Like I said before, him dropping that verse is giving us all this fucking gold right now, bro. So, but that was a bar, dog. That was a bar. That was a fucking bar. Be discussing them. Huh? Lord, don't make me have to smoke this nigga because I fuck with him. But push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. Nino with this thing, this that New Jack City name. Yeah, I'm aiming at G Money crying tears before I busted him. Light work. <laughs> that was hard too, bro. 
I want all that too, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so funny, bro, because Cole been killing, but he been killing like in the cold way. It's been nice. <laughs> it ain't like no dog in him, bro. It's like he's he's disciplined. He's trying to discipline somebody, bro. Like it's a fire ass diss track so far. I ain't, I ain't even gonna cap, bro. But it's like this is what I expect to hear from Cole because Cole don't do this rap beef shit. He's not gonna sit here and give me no fucking boo boo face like with that energy and that grit and that. That, that that tenacity, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with cuz, but I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'll beat his ass too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a bar too, that New Jack City bar. I'm Nino with this thing. This, that New Jack City meme. Like, uh, New Jack City, Nino Brown, you know what I'm talking about? Goddamn, the drug, the drug kingpin and all that shit, bro. And just bodied everybody. I didn't give a fuck. So, it's, it's a double. And J. Cole is embodying Nino in New Jack City. That's who I am, bro. I run this shit, right? Um, and, yeah, I'm aiming at G Money, crying tears before I bust at him. G Money was Nino Brown's best friend, and uh, Nino was crying while he had the fucking gun pointed at him. And that is a fucking running meme, so he's playing on, he's saying that uh, G Money is K-Dot, and, you know, I'm Nino Brown, and I'm about, I'm, I'm about to kill my best friend, right? <laughs> Which is something Cole would say. <laughs> Which is something Cole would say, dog. It's, it's, that, that was fire, bro. Fuck with him. Push come to shove on this mic. I will humble him. Nino with this thing. This that New Jack City meme. Yeah, I'm aiming at G Money. Crying tears before I bust it him. Light work. Like it's PWC. It's a cold world. Keep that heat under your seat. I got a phone call. They say that somebody dissing. You want some attention. It come with extensions. My dog, like, say the word. He don't oh, that was a hook, too. That was a fucking fire hook, bro. In these streets, he got pension. Yo. I told him, chill out. Yo. I look, having henchmen. If shots get to popping, I'm the one doing the conductor, conductor, conductor. Mm. Okay. 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 Oh, this this beat is hard. The cold made these beats. I got mixed feelings about these fucking rap niggas. It's over for that cap, the official cap pillars. Okay. Two six. We don't act niggas, we get at niggas. Okay. Shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog stat fillers, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Body bag, body bag, body bag. Cold world, your instructor hold for on, Pilates. Hold on. I'm trying to see if he's doing something in here. I got mixed feelings about these fucking racks. It's over for that cap, the official cap pillars. Over the lies, we about to kill people. I'm about to kill the game. Kill Kendrick as well. Two six, we don't act. Yeah, we don't. We don't do the Twitter shit. We don't do the online shit. We we come at you, bro. No diddy. Uh, nigga lights out. Yeah, my dogs. Stat fillers, stat stuffers, triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Get oh, stat filler, stat. Body bag, body bag, body bag. At niggas, we get at niggas, shoot a nigga lights out. Yeah, my dog, stat filler, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass I'm black duffel. I'm thinking that uh, body bag, body bag, body bag. Three body bags. It's in response to uh, K Dot talking about need to bring three switches. Because this whole time he's talking about shooting. Right? So, I don't think that's a reach. I think he meant that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted us to bring three switches. We bought three switches, and now there's a body bag, body bag, body bag. But then it's like, if you just come in to kill k it would just be one body bag. But I, I think that's what he meant. Lights out. Yeah, my dog. Stat filler, stat stuff is triple double. Get your ass black duffel. Yo. Body bag, body bag, body bag. Cold world, you're instructor for Pilates class. Get a nigga stretched if I feel a disrespect. Your That's not what he said. The lyrics is not correct. Hold on. You're instructor for Pilates class. The cold world, you're instructor for Pilates class. Get stretched out if you, if I feel the disrespect. That's what he said. Because in Pilates, you, you make your class stretch. I'm an instructor for Pilates class. I mean, that's kind of a sus bar. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. I'm not going to embody anything Pilates. <laughs> but I get what he's saying because when you're stretching, when you, when you stretching in Pilates, but I'm going to have motherfuckers stretched out, which means they dead. Right? If I feel disrespected, I'm going to kill you. 
But you know, the 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 Pilates instructor kind of sussed that bar out. Body bag, body bag. Cold world, your instructor for Pilates class. Get a nigga stretched if I feel a disrespect. Your arms might be too short to box with the God who lives his life without the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for. You calling K dot short? <laughs> Cause cold box six three. K dot about I don't know five six five seven. Being nice, so in the literal sense. You can't box with me because you're too short. But then he's also saying that I'm that God is raptured, and you can't box with me. So I'm, I'm I'm too I'm too much higher above you, right? And you boxing with someone who lives his life without the pressure of a constant facade. But K Dot's the same way, right? Y'all share that. Y'all share those similarities, which is why I brought up the whole Pimp a Butterfly album, bro, because. That's J. Cole type of content, right? And K. Dot speaks on living life in reality and not being lost in the sauce with things that don't fucking matter, which is people present this facade, this this image of themselves to lie to other fucking people. And J. Cole say, I'm not one of those, but K. Dot isn't one of those either. You know what I mean? So I feel like that bar is kind of pointless to say. Pilates class, get a nigga stretched if I feel a disrespect. Your arms might be too short to box with the God who lives his life without the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for peace, but if a nigga sees these positive vibes, a Falcon 9 inside my pocket, business rocket gon' fly. Now it's popping outside That's like hard. the top. Elon, there's an Elon bar right there, Falcon 9. I got this rocket in my pocket. Wait, saying he got a big rocket, SpaceX rocket. <laughs> Um, but then it's more, but it's also gun talk, bro. You reel me in, bro. You reel me in, dog. So I, I like the gun talk from certain people. It's not from you. You know what I'm saying? But the the, the cadence was nasty. The da 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 da. And I know rockets also meaning bars. The lyrics I'm gonna spit at you. I'm gonna kill you. But it's gun talk again. Out the pressures of a constant facade. I pray for peace, but if a nigga sees these positive vibes, a Falcon 9 inside my pocket, bitch, this rocket gon' fly. Now it's popping outside like the top of July. My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant, I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm powered up for real, that shit would feel like swatting a fly. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah, bro, yeah. he running it, bro. <laughs> he running it, dog. Um, I mean, I see why everybody's saying Cole cooked. K dot at this point, bro, because first of all, you have a whole song, it's three and a half minutes, right? And he's rapping. He's rapping, rapping, it's all direct shots at K dot, bro. I mean, K dot just gave everybody a, a taste, no ditty. He gave you a minute of bars and he's going at two of the giants of hip hop right now, you know what I'm saying? So uh but I give it to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like Cole has it at this point, but it's not it's we're we're, we're, we're comparing apples to oranges at this point. This is K dot did that on like that to get this so so he can get back at K, get back at Cole and Drake if Drake ever does anything, dog. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can have it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to consider uh K Dot's verse to both of them at the same time, uh a verse in this rap beef, then y'all got it. I, I agree. This is better than what K Dot did, but you know what I'm Cole got it with this verse. This is better than the like that. But this is the type of time K Dot is on, bro. Like it was a tease, right? But I'm gonna go at both of y'all at the same damn time on a feature within a minute, bro. This is how confident K Dot is in his rap game, dog. I'm going at Drake and Cole. I don't give a fuck. I want the I want the smoke with both of y'all at the same time. Cole don't gotta worry about Drake going at him. All I gotta do is focus on K Dot. Drake ain't gotta worry about Cole going at him. All I gotta do is go at K Dot, right? K Dot, hey, come on, he's he fishing, bro. Bring your ass over here, dog. Bring your ass over here, dog. Give me y'all's best. I got it, bro. K Dot is about to be the bishop in this shit, bro. Y'all shoot this shit the fuck at me. I'm absorbed all this shit and fire this shit back at your ass tenfold, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But look, Cole got it. Cole got it. And I like, I like seeing Cole in this, in this, in this lane, bro. It's, it's different. Right, he's been he's been killing Cole, or he's been killing Kate out with kindness a little bit. Bro. It's it's cute, you know what I'm saying? It's cute, but it ain't got that dog in it, bro. 
like regardless of what all the shit Cole been talking about, it's not enough. We didn't even finish though, but it's not enough. We at the end. We got a couple more seconds, a couple more bars. Yet. This is not enough. I'm sorry. This is not enough. You know what I mean? Let's go. Nine inside my pocket, bitch, this rocket gon' fly Now it's poppin' outside, like the top of July My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply I'm hesitant yeah, see, I wouldn't call this reply toxic at all <laughs> July, my text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply I'm, I'm hesitant, I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie I'm powered up for real, that shit would feel like swatting a fly Five. Four albums in 12 years, nigga, I can divide Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence Put pictures in my home, ain't no See, four albums in 12 years, I can divide. That means you drop an album every three, four years. But, but, Cole, are you, the albums you drop fucking with what K Dot drop? Nah, fam. Nah, fam. It's levels, bro. I, I appreciate that. I like the bar. I like the bar. You're talking that shit, bro. You need to drop more shit. No, K Dot don't need to drop more shit. He don't need to drop none. Shit would feel like swatting a fly. Four albums in 12 years, nigga. I can divide. Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my home. Yeah, that's what K-Dot said that. Um, he said, I'm bipolar or something, but now I'm seeking violence. And that was a, a direct uh, uh, reply to that. He said, well, K-Dot, if this is what you want, then I'm indulging in violence. Bro, this is not a violent track, though. This ain't it. It's too. It's too sweet. <laughs> Shit, if this is what you want, I'm indulging in violence. Put pictures in my home. Ain't the chrome at your eyelids. Fly pebbles at your dome. We the Stone Temple pilots. This is hard. merely a warning. That was hard. That was hard. We fly pebbles at your dome. We the Stone Temple pilots. Pebbles. I mean, them bullets. If you don't at your head, I'ma kill you. More gunplay. Um, but then also lyrics. I'ma kill you with these lyrics. We the Stone Temple pilots. See, I know who that is. It's a rock group. You know what I'm saying? But it's a play on throwing bullets at your brain, rocks at your temple, stone, stones at your temple. And it could also be like a uh I don't think uh, see, that's me. It, it don't be the, it don't be that deep with, with uh Cole, no diddy. Right? But it makes me think of like some David and Goliath type shit. But, but it'd be that would be weird because in the literal sense, K Dot would be David compared to Cole, because J Cole is so much so is a is a larger person than K Dot. But then I don't even think that J Cole would admit to calling K Dot Goliath. You know what I'm saying? Because he he thinks that they're he feels that they're on par and they're on the same level. I mean, he thinks he's better than K Dot. You know what I'm saying? That's just me trying to reach and get unpack more than what Cole is delivering. But I, 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 Cole don't require that much breakdown. At your eyelids, fly pebbles at your dome. We the Stone Temple pilots. This is merely a warning okay. shot. The back niggas down, back in the town where they whipping, working, trafficking pounds. My jack jumping about a rapper, making blast from his sounds. Switching sides like the tassel on the cap in a gown. I'm fully. When did Kato switch sides? I mean, maybe because they was all Kiki before before they got to the top. Because I mean, it was once upon a time, K. I was fucking with Drake when they was both newly into it, and I know way back when, like K. Dot and Cole, damn near came into the game. Well, no, Cole was here before K. Dot, and Cole tried to sign K. Dot uh, initially. I know that, or he wanted to, but he knew he was gonna be that that shit. But you know, they were all peers trying to make it initially. But now they've matured into the titans of it. So it's like, all right, we're gonna be divided because it's competitive, right? So I don't know what what size he's referring to, unless it's some other shit that um, I don't know about. But it was the bar though, switching sides like the tassel on the cap and the gown. When you graduate, you fucking flip the tassel over. My phone, my jack jumping by the rapper making blasphemous sounds because <laughs> uh, Kendrick was making them weird sounds <laughs> on the uh, on the uh, like that record. Get blast from his sounds, switching sides like the tassel on the cap in a gown. I'm fully loaded, nigga. I can drop two classics right now. <laughs> well, then do it, motherfucker. Do it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because all, all, all I'm aware of is Forest Drive. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the only classic I know you got. People talking about KOD? No. No, it's not a classic. It's not a classic. Right? Talk, but talk that talk, bro. Talk that talk, dog. Yeah, what happened to the fall off, bro? I thought the next album was going to be the fall off. You talking about, uh, might delete later? This is the album? But, um, the plan is to do the review to that shit tomorrow. And you know, I didn't even know. Hey, just want to let y'all know. This is all fun and games. People be getting all sensitive and shit, bro. Hip hop is a competitive sport. And I'm Team K Dot, bro. I don't even like having this energy with Cole, bro. Stop with Cole, dog. But at the end of the day, Cole is not a better rapper than K Dot. Cole can't do what K Dot do. Cole stepped into the trap. And now K Dot is about to rip his fucking face off and show y'all that there are levels to the shit. Let's get it though. Is that it? Let me chill out, man. Conductor. Fall off on the way, nigga. That's it. That's it. But that's it. Hey. I like it. I I enjoyed it, bro. I enjoyed it, bro. Definitely. Definitely a a a dope diss track.